Here's why I left Paris for a one-way flight to Athens, Greece on Friday, September 2nd without a single plan and very little money. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Savannah Benina Ego by Savvy C, and I'm an American who's lived in Athens for nearly two weeks now, and it's exactly what I've been needing. For some context, I moved to Paris back in September 2020 for my master's degree. As a pandemic mover, there was so much that could have gone wrong, but it didn't. Paris exceeded my adjusted expectations. I picked up the language, had incredible adventures, and met some amazing people, along with the romance perfect for a Hollywood blockbuster. My great and borderline abnormal progress came to a screeching halt once I graduated this past May. My family came and visited me for my graduation ceremony, and I showed them around Paris, played translator, and they even met my as French as a gets boyfriend, Metcha, and loved him. Cut to a few weeks after that nearly perfect week, my family hit me with the ultimatum of ultimatums. Move back to the States immediately or stay and no longer receive any financial help from them. After many tearful nights and pros and cons lists, I decided to stick it out. Paris is my new home and I really felt that I was just getting started. Well, until I wasn't. But let me not get ahead of myself. So the rest of June, all of July, and the early part of August, I was hustling! Side gigs, applying to jobs like crazy, thinking of new housing situations, trying to be a no pair, you name it. I either tried it or researched it. And then the breakthrough came through on Monday, August 8th. Thanks to a friend from school, I had an interview lined up for a CDI full time contract within my formation. Not only did the Franglais interview go well, I was offered the job on the spot. Translation, I hit the American in Paris jackpot. I called my mom, my now ex-boyfriend, and his mom to share le bon nivelle. But I stopped the calls there because something told me to wait this one out. Cut to Friday of the same week. I reiterated via email what I said in the interview that I don't want to start working before I get my next cut de séjour residency card. And that I'll be on vacation for a week. Well, that done did me in, child, in less than a week. I was asked to either start well before my new carte de séjour or decline the job, so I did. But then, ironically enough, on the same day, I then went to Neo Nest Gym every day. They peed that I clearly had no job <laughs> and asked me to send in my CV. I did so gladly and had my first of two yes to interviews, which went well, followed by a nearly 200 question personality assessment test. Spoiler alert, the second interview still hasn't happened. So, two jobs fell through in less than a week, and I knew in my gut that it wouldn't be a good idea to move in with Metcha, and I had a matter of then weeks to clean up my apartment and turn in my keys. <sighs> All right, I wanted to document this moment. It's an important one to the journey, for the blog, for the, you know, documentary. It's Monday, August 18th, currently 1827, almost 630, and this will be my last day with my bed. So I'm sitting on my bed now as we speak with my Baroque hatched up, but toe up from the flow up, Lord help me, <laughs> drawers. Um, and I cried a little bit before, so my eyes look a little puffy, that's why. And I think I'm just a bit, not a bit, I'm nervous. I'm anxious, but at the same time, oddly at such peace with the decision, I'm letting this go, selling a lot of stuff, getting rid of so many things, and then clearing my head. I'll be leaving Paris soon for a period of time. And I think in that period of time, new beginnings, new places, opportunities, etc. will just will come flooding in. I really believe that. And I'm really stepping out on faith here and, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God and just, you know, believing and knowing what you can see or like, hold up, let me rephrase that. Like you can't live by looking at and, you know, looking, at, looking at things physically and things that logically quote unquote scientifically googleable googleable things information you just have to know and just trust your spirit trust your gut and that's what i'm doing and so yeah i just wanted to document this last moment on this bed thanks bed for sometimes some sleepless nights let me not hold you but 
for holding me up, supporting me for a year now. And I really appreciate you. And you did the job well. You did a job well done. But it's time to say goodbye. So, Misty Bukul, cool, cool. And, yeah. I love it. I had enough money to get by in Paris, but not enough to pay rent month after month. However, comma, I had another option. Start a business. Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl. I'm out of breath. In Bandit Pocket. Because I have only two minutes left. Till three. Till Kansas. With for my rendezvous avec Caroline to open a business bank account. Oh my fuck! I have all my stuff here. A little fit check. Needles. And I have all my information. Put everything out. I have like a little pinch sale going thing. So that's when the document is done with before. It's a little follow up after. I feel good. I mean, I'm anxious, of course, but I feel good at the same time of. I got everything, I'm qualified, I have the ideas, I have the creativity. I can speak the language, I can't treat be lingual. So, je vais pas say, eh, anglais bien sûr. So, I'm ready, here we are. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Oh man, can't believe it's happening, but here we go. I'm gonna check in when I'm done. Guys, let me not really scream up in public. Oh my goodness. Like, you see that? You see that? Linda affair went so, so, so well. Like, she just understood me completely. Said, franchement, c'est une très bonne idée. C'est une très bonne idée. C'est une très bonne idée. And just like she knew exactly. Like she was picking up what I was putting down. She understood me word for word, bar for bar, and knew exactly who I'm targeting, who I'm speaking to, this need, this gap that I'm fulfilling and speaking to she gets that 100 percent and it was just so nice to have to over explain myself and over exert myself to explain that to her as this got 100 percent she rocked with me so sadly i wasn't able to open it fully today but all i need to do is register as an auto entrepreneur so i need to do that um i need to do that formally i need to do that and then just because there's two options you can do auto entrepreneur uh, auto please individual so i'm doing auto entrepreneur and then i need to register for like my numbers to formally say like oh this is my business this is my number this is my headquarters all that good stuff so the government recognizes it probably tax purposes actually no that's it <laughs> for tax purposes um of what like my activity is and how they can tax me because you know my french girl don't tax me baby but it's okay it's okay but i'm just oh, i just i'm so thankful this had me up for hours I did it last minute as I usually do but it was just so nice to speak so freely and en français so bon, like, to speak so freely about something that has been on my heart been on my spirit for a long time now and she just got me a hundred percent I didn't have to over explain nothing crazy plot none of the gimmick she just got me a hundred percent and that just really means the world to me so yes and I'm gonna run home eat some lunch and get working on this application status and then probably meet with her probably next maybe friday we'll see as soon as friday but before august ends that's my goal before august ends get this done and then picture and then we gonna get our roll in we gonna get our roll in but ah, thank you jesus ah let me do it if God is for you, who can be against you? Amen. All right, here we go. And less than two hours later, and the same banker I worked with told me she spoke with her boss, and the number isn't required to open an account. So on the same day my cut de séjour to the aunt expired, I opened a French business bank account. Okay, guys, moving updates. I, I don't know if you can hear an echo. 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 But things are emptying out. So this is what's going. All this stuff is going i deserve that robe i'm gonna keep that robe and the toilet paper i'll probably use before i fly out but all this stuff i'm getting rid of about to get rid of these curtains and then on the other side is the stuff that i'm keeping but i'm still dwindling down dwindling down dwindling down dwindling down so air mattress bag and then suitcase one suitcase two three, four, and then like grocery store reusable bag. 
And again, I'm trying to condense this down as much as possible and hope they'll be able to do that so that all of my belongings can fit into suitcases with extra room to spare plus this bag just for storage and like future use when I move back to Paris. So yeah, or like come back, move back. I, I still live here full time, but when I come back from traveling. But yeah, it's really starting to feel real. Now we're less, officially less than 24 hours till my walkthrough, which in French they say état de l'eau, like state of affairs. And um, usually it kind of hit me that I'm out, I'm heading out. But uh, also I'm excited, I feel good about it. I feel um, that out with the olds will bring in new opportunities and just new heights and new growth that um, I think I'm, I'm ready for now. Before I was a bit scared and hesitant, but I'm ready now. I'm making way and making room for it. So yeah, I will check back in when I'm at the hotel. <sighs> wow, I forgot how exhausting moving can be. So I just made it back to the hotel. It's a little past after one. It's just past one. My uh, état de l'eau is at 9.45. I keep saying that, I feel like. Um, and I still just have a few bags and things to pick up from my old place and just bring them here and then sort through things, give things to more people tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, and then, yeah, then really get ready to go on vacation and leave friends for a little bit. So, but yeah, it's gonna say goodnight now. Let's take off my shoes and get ready for another night. Cut to Wednesday, August 31st. I am at Tadilla and turned my keys in. And this is it my last ever vlog video in this apartment so i hope and i have to am i saying i hope i have to take you guys along with me so this is the situation right now so before you know you saw the floor this is after we got one two three two cases and then my last reusable grocery bag this is the full shebang oh but i'm taking to my friend's storage place to say something you grow up really appreciate you i appreciate you for helping me out and then Shayna for is coming on her way now to help me so i really appreciate you both dearly i really uh bro it's kind of described thank you so much so that i do like a little final walkthrough i'm out of electricity so we'll see how this works or how much you guys even see it's the laundry area the bathroom And then the main room, of course. So I have my bed here, desk over there, and then I also have the couch there. But I work out to move. And then the kitchen area and all that storage, lights, and then the grandiose view, even though it wasn't that grand. Hint my sarcasm. And this was it. This was the cribbo. I feel comfortable now showing it, <laughs> now that I'm moved. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, wow, you can now see my, my chocolate itself. Hold up, let me, don't give me the line. There you go. So, I'm in the doorway. A lot's changing, and I'm a bit nervous and scared, but I think it's natural. But also, at the same time, I feel like I'm really just shedding my old self and letting this, like, a new chapter come in. So that I can just make room and space and preparation for what's to come. I feel like what's to come is going to be a lot. And just a lot of changes, a lot of differences, more responsibilities, new levels, new heights achieved. Uh, and with that, I just need to be pro properly, excuse me, prepared. And to do that, I gotta, you know, take a break. Gotta go, leave, learn some things, grow, develop, align myself, and then come back and really be, you know, that girl. So yeah, so that's what today and this week has really just been teaching me and now we're at two minus two days so i'm flying out um at 11 55 noon on friday to september 2nd so and today's the last day of august so it's getting real bit real
Thursday, September 1st, I boldly went to La Prefecture and asked for a nouveau carte de séjour. Hello, beautiful people. Bon bon jour à tous. It's your girl. I check in and clear up because I terribly worded uh, my first post of today, like my little first story of the day. So this is going to be my last full day in Paris in the sense of that I'm leaving the city and the country of France, of course, but I'm not moving back to the States. I'm not leaving permanently. I'm just temporarily going to travel full time a bit. I'm technically a police around undocumented some papier. Uh, my student status expired on the 26th and today is September 1st. So a little bit of a problem. And my next appointment is on September 19th. I'm trying to do it today, but I'm waiting on one more document to come. And put, please, 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 God, say a little prayer for me that it goes through. And then with that, I can leave for the month, get my life together, come back, and, you know, really be on something. After verbally fighting for my life en français, they allowed it. And in about 90 minutes, I walked out of there with my red piece. And later that day, the rest of my belongings were safely placed in the dungeon <laughs> of my friend's apartment building. Woke up Friday morning and took the LA Bay, as I've done countless times before the past two years, to Charles de Gaulle and boarded my one-way flight to Athens, Greece. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our home. Made it to Athens. I'm at baggage claim now, even though I did carry-ons and everything. Thankfully, my bags made it. Both made it. Sis was kind of looking at me, not looking at me sideways, but she was like, that's too big, but I'm like, you go. I was like, no, thank you, Because I didn't check till last minute, but I was checking in on the app that with my economy seat, the economy fair, I only had a carry-on or uh, a personal bag. I thought I had one of each, but I didn't, so that is fine. So now I'm gonna take, it says M3, so I don't know if that means metro, I don't know if that means bus, we'll see, but public transportation to, I guess, downtown Athens, girl. So I'll check in later. After one of the most eventful days in Europe of traveling ever in my life, I made it to the hotel, or hostel, excuse me. Very <laughs> important difference. Not a hostel, it was my first ever hostel. I thought I should show you guys. So it's a four uh, bedroom one, and this is all women. And I'm up there, I'm that up top. I don't know where the other three girls are. I get the sense that they know each other or they're friends already. One's reading Bridgerton, so I'm guessing they're from the States or they speak English. Then here's a little balcony area. Okay. Nothing crazy. But you know. Oh, wow, you see the crop? Okay. I don't know if that's the crop list, but I see something up top. Then I'll take you to the bathroom. But this can work. So I'm doing this tonight, and then the next two nights, I have a private bedroom, which I think will be for the best. This is already wet. Oof. Oof. Okay. Yeah, it's already wet. But this is the situation. Here's the shower. Okay, so not bad. Oh, I should have bought shower shoes. Ugh. I know I should have done that before I left, but... Oh, wait, you. So that's room tour. Wish me luck. Just... This is gonna be late, but just just send a prayer, anyways. I can always use prayer. Just 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 take care of your girl. Okay, bye. So that's why I'm here now. Thanks for watching to the end. I appreciate it. If you like to join me in my new adventure as an American living in Athens, like and follow for more. Bisous. Bye.